Well, good morning. How are y'all doing today? We are so glad that you're here for this year's Grandparents Day, and we're excited uh, to have you as our honored guest today. You mean very, uh, very much to your young people, and we appreciate the role and the input that you play, that you place into their lives, and, and we appreciate that, and your young people do as well. And uh, we trust that you uh, uh, enjoy your time today, that you just really like the program, and I know you will. It'll be an encouragement to you. We're sorry, even though this is a Hawaiian theme, we don't have any hula skirts to hand out. Uh, but we do have some lays for you to wear. So those, those lays that you see on the chairs, those are for all the grandparents to put on and wear. Be a good sport and put them on because your kids will love to see you in the lay. And it'll be a lot of fun. And if you see a few extras around, you know, make your husband wear too because that's even more fun. All right? Uh, we're going to open our time together in prayer. And then we're going to turn it over to our administrator, Mrs. Joy Fairchild. And uh, we'll start our program. But let's start begin first by a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. Uh, for your love for us. We thank you for Jesus Christ and the hope that we have in him. Thank you for the grandparents, Lord, for the special role uh, that they play in, in their kids' lives. Lord, I pray that you would just bless our day, help them uh, to feel honored and loved and cherished, God. And we love you first and foremost. Thank you for what you're going to do uh, today and the encouragement that will come. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Mrs. Fairchild. Thank you guys for coming to our Grandparents Day celebrations. We appreciate you taking the time to join us. Uh, your impact on the lives of your grandchildren can never be underestimated. In Deuteronomy 4.9, it talks about the responsibility of grandparents toward their grandchildren. It says, only be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them fade from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children and to their children after them. <clears throat> but also, the Bible gives a reward for having grandchildren. In Proverbs 17, 6, it says, Children's children are a crown to the aged, and parents are the pride of their children. These are our middle school students, and they have composed either a brief narrative or a short poem that they're going to share with you. Uh, reflecting on favorite memories that they've made with their grandparents or just expressing their love and appreciation for you. So these are the sixth and seventh grade students. <coughs> My grandparents make me happy and always make me smile. They cheer me up when I am down and love me all the time. My grandparents are the most wonderful people you will ever meet. I am glad to say my grandparents are special to me. My favorite memory of my grandparents is going to Indiana where they live. My family would take our grandparents to this fancy chicken restaurant. It was an old kind of restaurant. I like it when my grandpa tells us stories when he was a kid. Okay. I like playing games and watching TV shows with my grandma. Grandparents are like books. Grandparents are like books, full of wisdom, cover to cover, full of stories to tell, pictures to show, interesting chapters of their lives. Grandparents are like books. They have places to take us, things to teach us, things to show us, and doors to open for us. Grandparents are like books. They're always there when we're alone or on a cold and dreary day with nothing to do. They can always turn our gray skies to blue. Grandparents are like books. Though one day their story must end, we'll always have the memories to keep in our hearts. Psalm 92 says that those that are firmly planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish and bring forth fruit even into old age. Grandparents, the godly heritage that you give to your grandchildren is such a blessing. And right now the third and fourth grade class would like to share with you some of their favorite memories. 
my grandparents would do stuff for me like go to my baseball games. Sometimes we would go out to eat together and my great grandma would let me pet her dogs and cats. And one of my um, grandma's favorite verses is, in all thy ways oh, um, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs um, 3, 6. Some of my favorite things to do with my grandma is go to the movies, and she always makes me strawberry shortcake, and one of her favorite verses is Romans 8, 28. Some of my favorite memories with my grandparents are spending the night, breaking beans the next morning, and getting a chocolate milkshake. And her favorite memory verse is Romans 8, 28. We know that in everything, God works for the good of those who love him. They are the people God called because that was his plan. Some of my favorite memories of my grandparents are my grandpa telling me stories about when he was a kid and my grandma t playing games with me and my um, Papa Rick and Mimi going to lots of restaurants with them. And my grandma's favorite verse is 1 Corinthians 2, 9. But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that loved them. him. Some of my favorite Memories with my grandparents are is that I have my mom's mother because my because my mom's dad passed away, but my mom's mother is awesome. I'm always with her because I think she's very special, and we're always doing great things together. My dad's parents live all the way in England, and they are very great grandparents. We are always doing very good stuff together when we're over there. Uh, and we always do things like go to the zoo, the Raptor Foundation, the beach, and lots of others, and I think they are very special. The verse is John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Some of my favorite memories with my grandparents are with my grandma Linda when she was little and she used to babysit me. We did a lot of puzzles with my grandma Carolyn. She tells me a lot of stories about my dad when he was little and him getting in trouble. And my grandpa, um, I used to help him in the garden a lot. My great grandma, um, I got to eat ice cream every time I went to her house. And my grandparents' favorite memory verses. Honor thy father and thy mother, Exodus 2012. Some of my favorite memories with my nanny and poppy are going to Walmart and spending nights at their house. Some of my favorite memories with my mama is going to eat lunch at her house and going to church. And my nanny's favorite verse is, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, Psalm 23. wanted to write a poem that meant something to them about their grandparents. So they brainstormed ideas and they put it all together themselves with very little help from me. And they're going to recite that for you. And then at the end, they have learned how to say thank you grandparents in Hawaiian. So they're going to say that as well. Take good care of me. You even take me to the movies. You make me good food to eat. You make our lives complete. 
We will always help you with everything you do. Grandparents, we really want to tell you how much we love you. students did an interview so they went home and they asked their grandparents or had their parents call them on the phone about their favorite food, favorite book, and some favorite memories so they want to share that with you today. My grandpa likes to smuggle with me and read to me so he won't get old. I love you grandpa and grandma. <coughs> Miney likes to eat apples. Or likes to read the Bible. I love you. chocolate. Everyone books the Bible. K4 group and they have memorized a little short poem to share with you about grandparents. Grandma and Grandpa. I everything I presents and candy. Chocolate for 
Let's cherry some top. <laughs> and peanuts and popcorn. <laughs> a winter, a summer, a rain, a rain, sun. Fairchild found us a song. What are you teachers doing over on the side now? <laughs> yeah, come on. They've been behind my back the whole time we've been practicing. So. <laughs>
Didn't they do a great job? Let's give them a hand. They have worked hard to prepare that for you, and they appreciate uh, the role that you play in their lives. And we appreciate you, too, supporting uh, what we're doing here at Emmanuel Christian Academy. Coming to events like this is one way that you can show your support for our school, and we want to say thank you uh, very much. Another way uh, that you can show support for our school is um, each of you on your table should see one of these uh, announcement cards regarding our fall festival. This is uh, one of our biggest uh, fundraisers. Uh, throughout the, our school year, and it is going to be a, a, a big blowout this year. And so we want to encourage you to come and be a part of it. We are bringing in an illusionist and a ventriloquist all the way from California uh, to put on a show for us at this festival. There will be games and blow-ups set up. There will be a talent show uh, by your young people and other young people of the community, and there will be prizes given to that talent show. And so first, second, third place, so we're really looking forward to that. And then there will be a live auction to conclude the afternoon at the festival. So we are looking forward to a really fun day, September the 27th, Saturday, from 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock. We really want to encourage you to come and support the school. Bring your family, bring your friends. It's going to be a great afternoon of fun. Uh, also, another way you can support our school is through the code Kroger cards. Now, in years past, it has been when you would buy a gift card, you know, put the money on the gift card, and the money would go to our school. This year, they've made it easier uh, to donate to our school, but a, a little more difficult in the initial sign-up process. What you have to do is link your Kroger card to our school's Kroger number. And if some of you may say, well, I'm not real computer savvy, I don't, I don't uh, know what to do, we will be glad to help you with that. But if you are familiar with that program, basically what you do is you attach our school's number to your, Kroger, your personal Kroger card, so then that way all of your purchases, uh, Emmanuel Christian Academy would get credit for. And that is a great way to help. We all have to eat. And so if you shop at Kroger to buy your groceries, uh, your groceries don't, will go, a part of that will go to donations uh, to Emmanuel Christian Academy. We are glad that you chose to come today and a meal has been prepared for you to enjoy with your grandchild and with your children. And so uh, we're going to pray for that meal here in a second. And then as we dismiss to, to, to go through the line, you'll pick up your grandchild from the bleachers over here and you'll go right through this door, go through the line and come on out. And we just want you to enjoy and a great day of fellowship with your family and your grandchildren. And, and we trust uh, that you experience a great day here. Let's uh, begin. Or be Close with a word of prayer, asking God to bless our meal and your time together. Father, uh, we are so thankful for the role that you allow us to play in our young people's lives. Lord, thank you for the privilege it is to, to come uh, to a Christian school and to hear them uh, share their hearts about the importance of grandparents. Father, I pray that everything that's done here today has blessed your heart and has been, uh, bring, brought honor to you glory to you. Thank you for those that have worked so hard to prepare the decorations, to prepare the food that we're getting ready to eat. Lord, may that food bless our bodies and sustain us. Help us to enjoy the rest of the afternoon that we have together, enjoying time together with family and, and grandkids. And Lord, we thank you for all that you're going to do. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You may pick up your grandchild and go right through this door to the line. Thank you. Never.